Hey guys, I like your blooms here. How's it going? We are talking about vining and climbing flower perennial plants, things that are gonna grow and come back every year. And what we're looking at is a wisteria plant, one full year of growth. We got it last year and it was right here. So, you know, it's a good two foot plant when we bought it. Popped it in the ground. I'm giving it lots of food since. It grew a good four or five feet its first year. I know this year it's gonna grow a lot more. We gotta get some sort of lattice or some sort of arch or we gotta just add something. You know, you could, we could even take, take some pieces that grow off and vine it all the way across this because that'll look really cool in the future. But, you know, this is a pretty, pretty long guy. He grew a lot. It's actually a little bit longer than four foot for sure on its longest points. But we had to wrap it back around. Got to train it, get it to do something cool. Come over here. This is a mandarin honeysuckle. It's a really good, it's a really good plant down there. Well, we got some good strong, good strong vines. We got a lot of new shoots coming up, so that's really fun. You know, already. Got the flowers coming in already. They'll be bloomed probably, I'll say in the next two weeks. I'll say two weeks, more like two weeks, three weeks, possibly. It's a good plant. It's a, it's a good year old plant as well. Maybe two years. It's our first year with it. So, planted it last year, and this is everything that it's grown. And it's vining up this real nice. Real bushy. When the flowers are in, it attracts so many hummingbirds. It's uh, definitely one of my favorites. Oh, my grandma had it a lot growing up. And so I was around it a lot. And actually, these flowers, when they, uh, when they appear, you can actually pick them off and drink from the back of the flower piece that you pull off. And it's really sweet. And that's the nectar and stuff that the hummingbirds come to get. It's a really good plant. We got three of these in the yard. I got some cuttings of some honeysuckle sensation and trying to get those ones to go. That's what my grandma has is the sensation, which is the yellow. This is going to be the orange. I suggest growing it in your yard. We have three different ones and they're all at three different locations, but they all do great. Um, this one is the full sun. It gets nothing but open sky right there all day when it's sunny out so this is our full sun we have a part shade full sun and then we have a just shade and it's a really good oh man i could have just got this oreo i just seen an oreo that would have been really cool just showed you guys the wisteria i showed you the honeysuckle now we're going to come over here to the clematis and it's also another one of my favorites i love the vining plants there they're so awesome to me that they just climb and they can just take over a space and I don't know they just they just make me happy and they got some cool flowers you know but it's just the growing process and watching them climb and seeing what they can do in a year and then you know after five years or so you know you got a huge giant good healthy plant and this right here also gets uh, full shade or uh, full sun I'm sorry and it's it's gonna be good it's gonna be a good plant it's doing great uh, it actually a lot of it got ripped out last year and there was only a teeny tiny bit left and that's all it is right there it's all it is those little shoots and it's doing all this it's just May we still got June July August September I know this plant's going to be huge and it's going to be great. If you grow clematis, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know how big it is. Maybe put a picture, you know. I like to see what everybody else is doing. This is our smallest clematis. But everything that you're seeing is only a year old. We uh, like this raspberry bush right here. Actually, no, that's the blackberry bush. I'm sorry. We just put this raspberry bush in here. We dug it up. We put it in a spot last year that was bad. It was really shady. 
and it didn't get a lot of sun so it didn't grow it was literally just these sticks with a little bit of this coming out of it since we put it in here it has done nothing but bush out so yeah sun for these raspberries what i'm learning the blackberry uh you know when you cut them back they were huge they were way up way up here cut them back now they're turning into a nice bush but yeah we're not talking about fruits today oh look at the quakers uh we're not talking about fruits today we're on to vining and climbing plants we're gonna come over here and check out this other this is our shade honeysuckle right here which it gets a little bit of sun but it's mainly shade once uh once all these trees they fill in more you know a lot of them are still getting getting their first buds got their first leaves and stuff like that so it's not really full when it's full sun this is a really shady area but things grow things grow great over here um, but this is our honeysuckle and this is a really good big plant too first year it's grown tons we find it through a little bit ourselves and it just took off all by itself and it's you know there's some parts parts over here that are you know good seven foot eight foot like I said I highly recommend growing this plant you can just you know get one of these little uh, arbor little metal thing you can whatever you can make your own buy them at the store they sell them at Home Depot Walmart Meyer wherever you're gonna go that has a garden section you could find something like this or you know I even thought of I even tried last year I had this right here sitting in front of it and I was hoping maybe it would vine on it it didn't work so that's the new home for that but this right here is growing great I even thought about it's very flimsy you know you can move it and this is just this whole plant's just gonna go wherever I take it so I could push it back here tie it up to the tree eventually it'll start vining up the tree so that'd be cool or get another uh, little archway thing put it up there making a little bit taller I don't know this is the honeysuckle the mandarin honeysuckle uh, like I said it's uh, definitely one of my favorites uh, these ones aren't as mature as the ones that are out in the full sun, but they do have the flowers starting. They are getting ready to bloom, but these ones won't bloom as quick as the ones on the porch will with the full sun. Come over here, and we have the bigger, the more mature uh, clematis. The one up there that you've seen a minute ago, uh, the flowers on it are white. This right here is purple or pink I forget exactly but it's a good it's a good plant we're trying to get it to vine um, all the way around this red bud tree which is a great tree it looks awesome so much color and I don't know if you can see it all but if you got a red bud tree if you don't have a red bud tree that's cool but I highly recommend getting a red bud tree it's a really old one but I'm trying to get this clematis to vine up it <laughs> tried last year we got a little bit of this, all this dead stuff. It's not, it's not coming back, but it go, it went, it got way up there that we got it to do. And this year, uh, I don't know. Looks like it's gonna grow in bigger. Put these parts up a little bit more. These are all droopy, but clematis. Like I said, these vining plants are definitely one of my favorite things. Um, they're super fun to me. You can just put them anywhere not anywhere but wherever you put them give them something to climb up on because they just want to climb they just want to live they just want to grow they just want to explore new places oh here's the dog say hi to Lucy <laughs> what are you doing who's a dog yeah so yeah video climbing vining plants are definitely my favorites in the categories they're from seed which is a tough task but we're doing it i have a lot of uh blue moon wisteria that i've started at seed we got them growing they look like if you cut this off right here they're sticking they're like looking like little teeny plants like that maybe put one in the ground we'll see what they're doing I have honeysuckle that I started from seed, and I have clematis that I started from seed. 
and we're trying to get this, them to grow as well we could put them in the yard sell them whatever we got a lot we got an abundance but yeah climbing vining plants highly recommended do it get you some they're awesome watch what they do put them somewhere and watch what they can do they're like a magic trick might take a little bit of time but it's well worth the wait even ivy i really like ivy you can put some ivy on something but it can be very deadly um same with the wisteria you got to watch with the vining plants because you'll have to cut them back eventually because they will take over a space and they will claim it as their own and kill out whatever's there and so that's something just to keep in mind for years and years down the road once you do plant this plant but they are awesome they all do have flowers they make me smile maybe they make you smile i don't know this is i like your blooms this is climbing plants and thanks for watching make sure you subscribe like the video drop a comment thank you so much have a great day